I haven't got much further to go. In fact, I've just got to get everything over the northeast side of that point there. Having just come from that point there. A couple of small canvases on the back. This is the setup. The tide's in. I'm going to do this, this view looking south in the morning and then go further east to the point. Here is the, the view that I did from here, what, nine, nine years ago? I'm going to update it now. As you can see, the, the shelf of gang on the beach, the pit waste, it's, it's what, it's moved back about 30 yards in nine years so that this sketched out roughly where I want to be. Here's the box. Because the tide's just turning now I'm not really going to be bothered with the sea. I'm just going to um, block in in the sky. Now all these colours that are on the canvas they're just odds and sods from the bottom of tubes and tubs that I've used to tone and prime the canvas and then I just get some bit of light blue basically because that's roughly what the sky and sea is and then just kind of cut that out roughly and then I can see better <laughs> yeah. the previous one uh, that's on the postcard here you can see that I haven't included the, the, the top of the hill there it is just on eye level, which is the top of the cliff basically. Here, if I was going just to eye level, I'd cut it off about there, but the canvas is a little bit wider than the previous ones. It's not a very big canvas, I, I, I'm not sure, I think it's only about 24 by 16. I don't really want to kill the the dark areas of the sketch. I like we will do that later because uh, I go from here, which I quite like it as it is, and uh, I'll, I'll tighten it till it squeaks. I don't know if it's showing up, I can't see it on the screen. But even at the south end of the bay, which is what? What? Quarter of a mile away? The atmospheric perspective is kicking in at the moment. It's quite hazy. I can't see the, the Cleveland Hills. I can normally see the Cleveland Hills to the south. I 
I've just put that one down for a moment and I'm just blocking out the second one. I thought what I'd do is just as the tide's moving I'll catch a slightly different proportion on the canvas. This one's just a little bit longer than it is wide. I've got more or less the same eye level. It's got less of a foreground in it, which kind of keeps the eye in the in the middle of the canvas. This is the second venue. I think it was winter time when I did it down here last. And they, as you can see, I've, I've set it up in a vertical format because the tide's turning. Uh, it wants to come in. So I'll see if I can do it without falling off the cliff. Try and get... This is me and my stuff. That's the view. It, it does lend itself to a huge, great canvas, but I haven't got one with me. What I'm going to do is just take that vertical section out, which I've just quickly roughed out there. I've had enough for the day. That's the, view. That's the bit that I normally paint from way down there.